Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Homestead Brooklyn and it's time to plant one on me. So I have two great questions today. The first one is plants for life. Uh, do you have any fond memories of some of your house plants when you were younger? Uh, I love that question. Thank you plants for life for that. I do have so many wonderful fond memories of plants growing up. Um, we didn't have as many plants indoors, but my parents were both really big gardeners. They actually still garden hard today. So we had some of the most glorious gardens around in northeastern Pennsylvania. It was actually something that my mother took a lot of pride in. And one of my fondest memories actually were the lilac bushes growing outside of my my bedroom. And I loved purple growing up. Like purple was definitely my favorite color. And the lilacs in the summer would just, the, the wind, the warm wind would come in through the windows. And I remember when we had to move from that house, the first thing that I asked my mother is if we could take the lilac bushes with us. So we didn't and we couldn't. Um, but those are some of my, my beautiful fond memories. And lilacs are obviously something that I can't grow indoors. The indoor plants that we did have though that I remember is that my, my mom had this, um, Oh, I think it was a Schlafera actinophila, if I'm remembering the scientific name correctly. But the Schlafera was one of those um, deeply lobed leaves. They have maybe like five leaves coming off of a middle one. I actually don't have, I have one Schlafera here, but it's not that one. They get the really big green glossy leaves. And she had that on the desk and it was just growing gangbusters. And I remember it was like one of those things that I ended up, um, she ended up taking it to Ohio with her, but it's something that I would love to have here. I've actually seen them around, but I haven't picked one up in particular, but I do have really beautiful memories of that. My mom had, of course, a lot of Christmas cacti uh, around, and she also had bleeding hearts, which I actually haven't seen many of those around, but they have these like really, really beautiful heart-shaped red flowers. I'm not even quite sure what the, the genus is off the top of my noggin, but those are really beautiful. And um, for Scythias in the spring, those are like the beautiful yellow flowers that would grow outside. And, uh, and hyacinths, which I really love the smell of hyacinths and it's very easy to get hyacinth bulbs. They sell them super cheap in like beautiful vases around here in New York. And the smell is an aphrodisiac. It is just like second to none. So gorgeous smelling when those annuals come out. And we had a lot of hyacinths, both regular and grape hyacinths in our gardens. And um, I love them so much actually that that's what my middle name is, is, is hyacinth. It's one of my, my favorite flowers. And um, what other great plants do we have? We had some cacti and other things, but nothing, nothing crazy indoors. I think that my love for plants like really bloomed, if um, <laughs> um, every pun intended, just because of the fact that I don't have a, a plot of land here, I don't have a backyard. And um, yeah, it just like really changes my, my uh, sensibilities and my way that I feel here in the city. And I think that's really marvelous. So anyway, thank you for that question and thank you for that fun trip down memory lane. The next question is from Tazme L. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name or your code name. What was your first plant? So my first plant in this apartment, technically the one that I bought, uh, was my Ficus lyrata, which is a fiddle leaf fig. You could probably see it if I move and there's like a bit of splotchy green back this way and that's pretty much my fig peeking through the sunlight back there. I got it when it was about four feet, I would say tall, three to four feet tall and it's now probably closer to 14 feet and this coming year I'm definitely going to have to repot it because I think that it's pretty much root bound in the pot that I changed it in like three or four years ago. So. Um, yeah, that was my first plant that I actually physically bought. I did have a philodendron here that was actually already um, had been planted. So I think technically you could say that that's my first plant too, 
but the one that I actually ended up getting myself was was my ficus. So a lot of people ask me what my favorite plant is. Actually, I think it's one of the, the upcoming questions that I have, but, um, and it's really hard to decide <laughs> to answer that question, but I really do have a special place in my heart for my fig tree. And I think that obviously that's like the biggest amount of biomass. It's the biggest tree that I have in my house. So if that was gone, I think it would be like a really big hole in the house. It would, it would take a little while to actually fill that space. So anyway, thank you so much for your questions. I think that these are really beautiful because it, they were both a little trip down memory lane for me. So hopefully they answered all your burning questions today. And if you have any further questions, feel free to type them in the space below here or follow me on Instagram at Homestead Brooklyn and send me some of your questions. And of course, I have a blog up and running called homesteadbrooklyn.com so you could tune in there. Don't forget to like and or subscribe to this channel and you won't miss any more Q&A. All right, bye.